Welcome to Torva on Twine. In this video, I'm going to discuss columns as part of Harlow 3.3. Now, we've previously seen when we work with alignment that we use equal signs and then the greater or less than sign to point in some direction. The very next content and sequence in a passage will then be aligned to that part. We will align left, align various points in the middle, or align to the right. Columns work very similarly, and we're going to carry over some of our knowledge of how alignment works by defining how columns can work. In Harlow, however, columns, unlike alignment, start in a certain place and then extend out rather than pointing to a place where they're going to begin. So it looks very similar, but we use slightly different symbols. So if I pull up example one, we see right here, content or columns like alignment use the equal sign to indicate space. Now, when we're discussing space as part of columns, we're relying on other web technologies. Without going to great detail about how those web technologies work, I will just say that they use something called an EM, which is a measurement of generally roughly the size of a capital M in whatever the font's currently being used. So we are defining the space of a column using equal signs, and then instead of a greater than or equal sign to point to the alignment, we're using the bar. So on most keyboards, the bar symbol is generally under the delete or backspace key on a keyboard, depending if you're using something that is a keyboard designed for Windows or a keyboard designed for Mac. And so in this case, the column starts with the bar and extends out. So the bar is the beginning of the column. So for this content right here, this will be leftmost, then we'll have content that follows this, and then we will have rightmost, notice where the bar is over here on the right, and then it will extend out towards the middle with two spaces. So we will have a leftmost column, and then content, and then a rightmost column, and then content. So let's go ahead and play this story. I will build and play so we can see this in action. So notice we just have regular text at the top, and then columns continue until reset. This is the leftmost content, notice it continues, and then we have the rightmost content, and this continues. Notice that because there was an equal number of equal signs for both leftmost and rightmost that they were put together. We have a leftmost column, and we have a rightmost column, and they are equally matched. Now, let's say we want to kind of mix that up. We want to have things that are potentially on the left and maybe some things in the middle and some things on the right. And then potentially you want to reset that and do something completely different. Well, we can do that within Harlow by continuing to use our knowledge of the bar and equal signs. So notice over here, I'm now using more equal signs. This will be left, this will be centered, and this will be right. And then I'm using this looks like a very strange combination of things right here. This is a bar, two equal signs, and a bar. This will reset the current columns. We have a bar, two equal signs and a bar, and this is saying there are two spaces in the middle and two bars on the side, and that will reset all the current columns. And then I'm defining smaller columns, smaller left, smaller center, and smaller right. Remember, of course, the number of equal signs is the kind of margin away from what we're defining. It's the amount of space it will kind of take up and extend out. So in this case, this will be left, this will be centered and this will be right. Notice that the bar though is starting kind of over towards the side. It's not quite left, but it will be the leftmost of this current set. And this can be a little bit of a tricky thing within Harlow. So let's go ahead and change the start passage to example two, build and play. Notice this is left, but not quite far left. And this is right, but not quite far right. So we can come in if we want a space, an EM or an equal sign length, and the same with the centered, which is centered over here. But notice this center down here and this centered up here are slightly different because the amount of space, the amount of equal signs is different. The left is one space in, the right is one space in, or two spaces in total over here, and this is aligned to left and aligned to center and aligned to right, but not full right coming off the bar. So let's go back just so we can see this and it'll make sense. So notice the total number of equal signs over here is three and we've shifted over here, and then we've shifted this to be the centered and shifted this to be just off the right. But down here, this starts on the far left, and this starts on the far right, and this starts in the center with two equal signs between them. So the amount of space, the amount of equal signs we use between uses of the bar kind of define where it's going to be, either all the way left, slightly left, slightly center, or slightly right. 
And so, in this video we discussed columns, which can be fairly complex as we just saw, but we combine it with our knowledge of alignment within Harlow, starting with the bar where the column begins and extending out the space in EMs, roughly the size of a capital M in a font, to how much margin is extended out for that column. We've also saw, as we saw in this very first example, that we can define multiple columns far to the left and far to the right, and they will be continued in the same set, that is, until they are reset. And we ever want to reset columns, we can use a bar, two equal signs and a bar, and that will reset the use of the columns, either returning to the normal use of non-columns or whatever new sets of columns we define after that point within the same passage. And building off our knowledge of alignment and now extending into our knowledge of columns, we know that as we define columns, they only exist for that passage. Once we move to a new passage, all columns are reset again. And this is the same for columns and alignment. Thanks for watching.